Hello, hello, and welcome to Always Sometimes Monsters. We're going to be always sometimes a little bit of a monster. Because that's the whole game. Let's begin, shall we? Stop, wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it. I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? No, it isn't, actually. Look, if it's more money you want, all you've got to do is ask for it. Name your price, I'll pay it. Whatever it takes to knock some sense back into your head. I don't want any more of your money. I already have more than I need. Why can't you understand why someone might not want to do this anymore? Because uh, he's rich, and rich people obviously don't know what the fuck's going on most of the time. Let's begin. Or, continue. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. No. I don't think so. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. No, I'm gonna do it. Hello, strange man or woman. Excuse me, sirs, got a minute or a dollar. Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck, get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Well, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Winding up back here again. Goddamn schizo, you fucked in the head! Get the hell out of my way! Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go, though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters, anyway. I want to tell you a story, though. One about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right meow. Sounds a lot less time-consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. Well, I feel like shooting a man. Tch, <laughs> how predictable. I'll see you in another life, my friend. And that was always sometimes monsters. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Every story ends. Was this how it was supposed to happen? No, actually it wasn't. Ah, uh, surprisingly not enough. Surprisingly enough. Surprisingly not. Whatever. Nope. Not continue. I'll meet you back where we uh, shot the man. Alright, we're gonna actually listen to you this time. Don't you feel special? If you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine. But all roads start from the source. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part? 
Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Ah! Oh. Uh, okay, yes, I can move. Yes, this is good. Yes. Come on, hurry up! Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird! Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck-up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. So this is where we pick our main character, and um... Hope you guys don't mind, but I had cats choose which characters I'm going to play and what their names are. So, she chose, out of all of these, this one. Hello. Hey, Larry. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks, it's been a long time coming. Well earned, though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I wanted to polish off. Taking it easy tonight, only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice, though. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. So we we, we her now. We can't be the cat, sadly enough. Meow. Here, little kitty. Or not. Goodbye, kitty. And now we get to pick um, our person. If you know what I mean. Cat's also picked, and she chose this one. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on us. We gotta go, though. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam are working on. Did you, do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me, I'll sign it first. Um, can I just type? Nope, I cannot type. Excellent. Do it at old school. Nope, that's not- nope. Oh, hold on. Wait, stop. Oh god. Ribbit? Ribbit is not her name, sadly enough. <laughs> there. Robin is her name. Okay, my turn. And your name is this one. Best wishes, Ren and Robin. Let me see that for a second? Yeah, it sounds perfect. Alright, Ren, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Good luck. Whee! Let's go! Be a party! Whoa! Partying! Yeah! We're so good at this game. Always, sometimes, monsters. So, Larry, before we toast, let me guess, you've got a book you wanted to pitch? Just hear me out. No need, Robin. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss, see if we can get you in advance. That's... that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting, let's toast. To ambition, to success, to getting rich. I'll toast. To not screwing up. 
It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? Yes, it would be. This is my hero. Watch her as she goes. One year later. Nice little uh, apartment we got, question mark? It's been a year though, and a lot of things can change in a year. You'll see just how fucked we are in a moment. Laser destroyer team? What the fuck? Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Hello. It is I, the Frenchiest Fry. What time did I get in last night? Shit. Looks like my people's sleep monitor got reset. You gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month circadian master sleep achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. There we go. All set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Wah. We did it. Turn off the lamp? No! There's a lot to do right now. Probably not a good time to sleep. Well, you have a point, I guess. I think I like what I'm wearing for now. I've been wearing the same clothes since college. Why change now? Dirty clothes are the least of my concern right now. Okay, but what about the bottles? Well, whatever, bro. Good job. A bunch of old dusty books I'll never read. Oh, that's where I put that dollar. You got one dollar. That's not punk. I wouldn't know. Nice, I've still got some of those pizza, pa pizza pages left. You took three pizza pouches. Cooking directions. Place a microwave for two minutes, let cool for 30 seconds. Sure beats eating them frozen. You right. Which is why we're going to microwave all of them at this very moment. You should put it in for two minutes, like the instructions say. A lot of people seem to have problems with cooking. I feel like if you just follow the directions, it's basically not that hard. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just strange. But also, we're microwaving pizza pouches and I need something to talk about so people don't get bored. Pizza pouch is ready to eat! Thanks, bro. I want- no, don't microwave the sleep monitor. This one. For two minutes. <laughs> Yay, we got pizza pouches! Let's go! Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Attention, tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney's fees. Your credit remaining may also be affected. Please speak with building management as soon as possible to avoid further issue. Sincerely, management. 30 days overdue, pay up, deadbeat. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouch for you and my manager hates slackers. Slackers. Slackies? Slackers. Dark F. Well, at least I've got a job for the day. You grabbed your apartment key. You grabbed your bank card. Adventure! The lamps don't even work. This building is a joke. Wow, don't be so harsh. What a lovely fake cactus. Management can't even afford real flowers. Alright. Got something against fake people, huh? May as well take a look. Oh, well. You know. This isn't... It's okay. I get it. I understand. I'll leave you two in peace. What about this one? 
No, he's having a grand old time. Excellent. I'm glad someone's having fun. Let's continue on. Where is it? I know it's in here. I know it is in here. Excuse me, Mrs. Tewalogger. No, oh, pardon me, Robin. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There never is enough time in the day, don't you know? Do you know now? I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your... roommate? Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. That's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be, lo it'd be lovely to have some help. I'll think about it. Think about it, but I'm supposed to spend the day helping a friend. Maybe I'll come back and have the time for it afterwards. If you've got plans, don't you worry about it. My door will be open if you change your mind, though. Have a good day, Robbian. Hope you find what you need. Well, thank you, Mrs. Tellogger. I appreciate it. I appreciate your kindness. Cheap-ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. I'm gonna turn it off. Turn the light? Yes. I've done it. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. Might be able to slip out if you're undetected. Oh, nope. <laughs> Hold it, you mangy punk. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you gonna pay me what you owe, or am I gonna have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. You know I'm good for it. I'm expecting a check from my publisher real soon. It's even probably already here, so just relax. Look, the check's gonna be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Just give me until when the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you've got gotta get some greasy businessman to eat sushi off your body. You're out of time, little China girl. Pay me $500 by the end of the day or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Yeah, okay, fine. Are you gonna give me that key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? Fine. I think I have it in, on me somewhere. Not in me, God forbid. Ah, there it is. You handed over your apartment key. Come see me when you've got the money and I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. What a fucking asshole! Five hundred dollars by the end of the day? I can do this. I've already got work at Phoenix, or I can go help Mrs. Tewalogger. Time to get to work. I really don't want to get evicted. Dubstown. My favorite town. Hey, Robin. What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bell Bellinger. Bellinger? Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. Well, I've got a hustle. My landlord wants $500 by the end of the day, and I don't know how I'm going to get it. Dang, that sucks! Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie hero's figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Oh, you gave you a Charlie murder. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. What a nice guy. 